Hi, everyone. Welcome to the June market update for New York City real estate market. First, we are very honored to be included in this year's industry ranking, the Real Trends 1000. We thank our value clients for propelling us to this milestone. Your trust is uh, what we work for, is everything we, we have. Um, okay, so for June, our market became much quieter. Now, in May, the market started to feel the weight of higher rates and lower stocks. And in June this month, um, the weight started to become dominant. And on our side, many of our buyer clients are on hold. And on the selling side, uh, we brought four listings onto the market in June. And across all four listings, our traffic has been lower than what it would have been for the first quarter. But we did receive offers on two out of the four. Uh, both offers were also a little lower than what they would, would have been just a month or two ago. And one of the two offers we received was from a buyer who uh, he admitted to me he made multiple offers and was just trying to see lower offers and trying to see which seller would engage him. Uh, these uncertain periods definitely bring about these uh, deal hunters. You know, how many buyers actually regret uh, be saying they regret for not buying during the pandemic, uh, but uh, at a moment like this that sort of resembles the pandemic but of a much smaller scale, obviously, many of these same buyers are on hold. Now, I understand. You know, it feels bad uh, that when there are so many uncertainties around, people are not in the mood to make big purchases, taking, to pay, take big risks. Uh, but there is fundamental demand for housing in New York City, and the best proof is uh, our rental market. A rental market continues its just impossible cutthroat pace. Um, the last few rental deals we did were almost all sight and seen because the tenants would otherwise uh, lose out on them. Uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you next month.